Good morning everybody, it's Friday the 22nd of May 2020 and it's our last day before half term week so I thought we'd have a little bit of a celebration and celebrate the end of our Wild Things topic. It's the end of our Wild Things topic right now, we've got a new topic after half term to look forward to. So as a celebration of all of your amazing rainforest Madagascar learning and all about the animals as well, you've done so much learning, I thought we would do some art. I know you love art, I know. We're going to have an arty day and we're going to create an Ash Class art gallery. It's going to be amazing. And we will put the gallery online for anyone that wants to, to come and have a look at. And the art gallery will be celebrating all of the amazing learning you've done and all of your creativity that you're going to put into making your lovely art pieces. Now, our art's going to be inspired by the Madagascan rainforest, or any rainforest really. And somewhere called the Eden Project in Cornwall, you might have been there, you might have seen it, it looks like lots of bubbles on the ground. Inside, they're called biomes, and inside they've got different types of um, gardens and things like that. So they've got like a Mediterranean garden, which is all about European plants, and they've got a one bubble that was my favourite, that was the rainforest bubble. So even though it's in England, it's a mini rainforest inside a bubble, because they can keep it nice and hot like a rainforest needs to be. Anyway, the Eden Project has got an art gallery that is inspired by the rainforest as well. So I thought we could have a look at theirs and be inspired by what they've done, maybe get some ideas from them. They've got some that are done by adults, famous grown-up artists, and also some that are done by children. So you can see both and you can be inspired by both. Let's go and have a look at their gallery. Okay, here we are at the gallery. It's the Eden Project one. I will put the link um, there for your grown-ups to follow if you want to spend more time perusing. Um, the heading says Spirit of the Rainforest Art Project and here are some gentlemen artists painting in the rainforest. Can you see the roof, how it's been built? That's because they're inside a big bubble that helps to keep it nice and warm and, uh, and wet like the plants like. Looks like they're painting there. I like his headdress. So, there is a video you can watch. I'm not going to play it now. If your grown-ups choose to, then you can come and watch it yourselves. If we scroll down, oh, oh look, it shows us some of their artwork. That's lovely. These pieces are all about the water in the Amazon rainforest. This is not Madagascar, but um, this is the Amazon rainforest. There's a very famous river in the Amazon rainforest called the Amazon River, and I think they've been inspired by that. I can see lots of blue Wow, these pictures are cool. I can see hmm, a leopard, maybe a snake. Oh, who knows? Is the snake eating the leopard? I can't tell. Butterflies, lots of oh, parrots there, lots of colour. I really love how much colour there is in both of these paintings. I can see leaves. I can see some beautiful patterns as well. So you might even do patterns on yours. Let's have a look at what the, where's it gone, what the children have created. So it's Spirit of the Rainforest Gallery, and there's loads of different galleries. Look, 300 images, that one. I think we'll look at the ones that are our age group. So I'm gonna look at, well, you're in between four, five, and six. So I'm going to look at five and under. I really like this one, Mariam has done a great job of this one. I think she's printed that with paint. I think she's printed those lines on. Printing is a technique we've practiced a lot in school, so you could use your printing technique to create your artwork today. Go back, oh there we are. Right, let's find another one. This one, Ashton, has created what looks like a beautiful stripy tiger and I think he has, he's painted it. You can see he's used paint, but he has also used collage. He's got some really nice textures. And I remember we talked about textures a while ago when we did art. Um, textures is just when you feel the page, it feels a bit different and it looks a bit different. Can you see how that looks quite bobbly and rough? 
maybe that's like representing the different leaves maybe the feathers are representing the birds that would be in the rainforest and then he's added lots of different things to it to make it nice and interesting and detailed This picture by Daniel, who is five, he looks like he's painted the background and then he's left it to dry and then he's come back and drawn over the top in, looks like oil crayons, but you could probably just use normal crayons if you don't have oil crayons, or maybe paint sticks. Paint sticks are very good for this kind of thing if you've got those, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Um, so he, you don't have to just use one type of um, of material today you could do paint and crayon you could do a collage there's so many choices now Matilda looks like she might have used maybe inks um, or actually you know what it looks like she has drawn on in crayon and crayons are quite cool because do you remember we did before we did our secret phonics writing where you write a word in crayon and if you paint over it the word then stands out really clearly I think she's used crayons and then maybe watercolor paints and then she's gone over the lines or she's drawn the lines in a really thick black pen which makes it look quite cartoony oh no sorry that was me um, and she's drawn over in a black pen that makes it look quite cartoony I like that and and she's used the bright colors that you would expect to see in a rainforest Okay, we've got Tilly has made a bird. Oh, it looks like it's got lots of feathers. It's got eyes and there's its beak. Maybe a tail there, I'm not sure. Lovely big feather. Now, Tilly has made, I would probably call this a sculpture. And that's when your artwork is not flat on a piece of paper, but you might make something you can hold in your hand. So if you want to make a sculpture today, I know lots of you are amazing at jump modeling. That's all right too, art can be a sculpture. Googly eyes are optional. Right, what else do we have? William, looks like William has used pencils, felt tips, maybe some crayons, some oil pastels there. He's done lots of detail, I'm loving, oh, that looks like a frog. He's got lots of detail, I really like that. That looks like a monkey swinging on the vine. A bird is eating something. Oh, that's definitely a leopard. I like how he's drawn the animals that would be on the ground, on the ground, and then he's thought about which animals would be up in the trees as well. That's really nice thinking. Now you can have a look at these galleries in your own time. Oh, look, it's definitely raining in that rainforest. Um, I'm not going to look at all of them in detail. I can't, oh, this looks like another sculpture. Yes, here's a sculpture. He, oh, sorry. This person, Clement, has made Angel Falls, a waterfall. That's very cool. I like the bubbles. So that's what we'd call a sculpture. Oh, he's even put a bird at the top watching. So that's another really different idea there. Oh, that was a nice bird too. There were some amazing works of art there, weren't there? But I bet Ash Class can do just as good, if not better, for our gallery that we're going to make. Yeah? Now, it's completely up to you. There's lots of choice today about how you make your artwork. It could be about one specific animal. It could have lots of different animals. It could just be about plants. It could just be patterns that remind you of the rainforest. It could be a sculpture you hold in your hand. And we have done loads of learning in Ash class when we were in the classroom to help you to be able to do this today. So things like when we learned how to mix colours. Do you remember when we learned to mix colours? We spent ages doing that. You're all brilliant at it. That could help you today. I remember we also did some printing. We did lots of printing and printing of patterns. That could help you. We've done a lot of collage work. In fact, we made lots of nice collages for the wall. Things like our helicopter for our helicopter stories and things like our animals we made for Percy the Park Keeper's display. We've done lots of work on textures and how they can help make our art really, really lovely. All of those kind of things you'll be thinking about. So I would suggest you take the time to think. You take the time to have a look at the gallery see what you think, plan in your head what you want to do first, you might even do a practice go first, but it's really useful, I know that lots of artists like to plan what they're going to do or have an idea in their head 
what they're going to do before they do it. And it might not turn out that way, it might look completely different, and that's okay. But it's nice to start with a plan so you know where you're going. Now, I hope you've saved your energy up, though, because we have got, as you know, half term next week. So you, I won't be doing videos. You won't see me next week because it's holiday. So you'll be relaxing. But two people who will be relaxing in an amazing way because it's their birthdays are Fraser and Finn. I think you know what that means. It's time for a birthday boogie, not just any birthday boogie, but a double strength birthday boogie for Fraser and Finn. So... I might even do some superhero uh, moves for my dancing because I know they like superheroes. Okay, you ready? For Fraser and Finn's birthday boogie oh, for half term, off we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Both of you have a lovely time in half term when you get there, and we will see you soon. <sighs> I think I'm ready for half term after all that boogieing. Right, so after half term, the learning will look a bit different, and I will explain that to you a bit more on the Monday when we come back. I hope the weather stays this glorious so that you can enjoy the outdoors and the sunshine for the whole week. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, and bye bye for now.